Hi, this is Daria from workwithdaria.com. And as promised, I am back to talk to you about Cesar Rodriguez's heavy hitter prospecting boot camp. Well, I just looked at day three and um, it was amazing. It was amazing because the framework that he put together, um, I wasn't really using and I see that I can add on to what I'm currently doing. And what I took away from today's boot camp was that you must spend more of your time edifying your your um, expert, whoever it is that you would like to have your prospect get on the line to speak to, because it's all in the three way. Most people that are recruiting like crazy, they're doing three ways. They're utilizing their upline, they're utilizing their their sideline, their partners, etc. So you want to talk about that partner like they are God's gift to MLM. You want to talk about um, their results, pretty much who they are and who they are to you and how you have a moment to um, to speak to them and you're working with them and that you are giving your prospect that opportunity based on your relationship with them. So then that's going to make them want to um, motivate them to want to speak to your, your um, expert, your upline, your partner. So you don't want to spend so much time talking about the product because we have tools for that. So let the tools do that. But you basically want to get them on what he calls like a five-minute sizzle call, um, call so that um, your prospect is pumped up just like you are. Um, he also talked about when you're doing your prospecting, never sit down. It's something about your energy when you're sitting, but when you're standing and you're pacing and you're walking and you're um, reading your, your script or just going through what, what it is that you do, it's just a different energy. And people buy that energy, that energy, your vibe, that passion that you have when you're talking about your, your opportunity, your product. And he also talked about, um, the last thing he talked about was breaking the person's preoccupation. Now, in, in a lot of cases, your prospects are not expecting you to call them. So when you call them, not only do you want to create a sense of urgency because you don't want to be on the phone with them all night, but you want to um, have them interested in what it is that you have to say. So you don't want to get on the phone, you know, just saying, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm just chilling here and I figured I'd just pick up the phone and talk to you. And um, by the way, I have an opportunity I would like you to check out. That's not going to work. But if you get on the phone like, oh, my God, boy, I have something to show you. You got a minute? What you doing? You busy? You know, and the person's going to say, hey, what, what, what is it? What is it? What, what I got to do? What I got to do? What's up? What's up? And that's the kind of energy that you want on the other end of the phone. So then once you have the person's attention, then you share with them what you need to share with them, get them on the phone with your upline, and then the rest is history. So basically, you want to edify and you want to um, create, you want to break your, um, your prospects preoccupation. Those are the two main things I walked away with. And very important when you're making your prospect calls, do not sit down, stand up. So that's what I have for you today. I will be back to let you know what happened in um, video number four. Video number four, I know was going to be hot because each round is going higher and higher. So this is Daria from Brooklyn signing off and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.